Within the black, there is a power. Draconoir. Immense fragrance by Guy La Roche Paris. Feel the power. Hello, Wit Shavers. Welcome to the Soap Thing Project. Or if you've been here before, welcome back. Hadn't planned on doing a shave video today, but I just recently found out that Kevin and Kelly of K Shave Works are closing their doors and going out of business if they haven't done so already. So we're going to do something of a farewell shave with K Shave Works Dark Power. And this is a non-tallow based soap. Coconut oil, cocoa butter, shea butter, and glycerin is what's in this. Four ounces of soap. I don't remember exactly what I paid for it, and the way things are going, it's not going to matter anyway. So that'll be the soap, and we have the matching aftershave from K Shave Works. And this scent is a dupe of Guy La Roche Dracar Noir. So we're going to talk about the scent of Dracar Noir during the shave, because K Shave Works never told us what the notes were in this. They just said it's a dupe of Dracar Noir. So we're going to talk about the scent of this because it'll pretty much get the point across of what the soap smells like. Now the razor is going to be my Gillette Atra. Figured we'd use that since we have a 1980s theme going on here in the Soap Thing Project. The date code on this is an H1, so first quarter of 1987. And this is what my dad would have been shaving with when he was my age. My my father came of age during the Track 2 and the Atra, so he never even got to experience uh, the heyday of uh, double-edged shaving, so he started off with stuff like this. So that's what we're going to use. The brush is going to be this 3322 Savile Row Silver Tip Badger, and then we're going to chase the shave with Dracar Noir Eau de Toilette. Because of course we are. So let's do a shave. Okay, got a sink full of cold water, applying the PAA pre-shave cube to the face, and two days growth on the face today. Let's work this in. Okay. <clears throat> now we have the K Shave Works Dark Power lathered up into my black Pereira Shavery Unbreakable Shaving Bowl. This was sitting around collecting dust, so I figured it kind of fit the theme of the shave, so let's pull it out and use it. Hope everybody is doing well, having great shaves. 
with great shaving tools and great shaving soap. I might have made this just a little thick, but we'll see how it goes. Got the Gillette Atra razor. So, oh, how do we want to start this off? Why don't we just start by doing the, let's just do the Gillette swipe. It's harder to do than it looks. All right, so let's talk about the scent of K Shave Works Dark Power and Dracar Noir. You want to talk? We'll talk. I'm a sucker for good conversation. So Jacquard Noir has a lot going on. Uh, some of the more obvious notes are fir, juniper, oak moss, lavender, leather, lemon. There's a lot going on. Uh, there's a lot of notes in this. If I can fit it into the screen, I'll put it on the screen for you. But basically what this is, if you've never experienced Jacquard Noir before, is... It's a dark lavender and wood heavy aromatic fougere. At least on paper it is, it's an aromatic fougere. But it's got a dark peppery lavender sort of facet to it. Uh, lavender and lemon is what comes off the top. And then it's followed pretty closely by notes that are kind of synthetic pine-like because there's a lot of fir and juniper in here. There's a touch of leather and a lot of oak moss, a metric crap load of oak moss. So it's very dark, very masculine, and a very bold scent, which reminds me, scent strength on this is an unapologetic four out of five, almost five out of five. It's definitely stout stuff. But this is definitely one heck of a 1980s powerhouse. I mean, this is some uh, some vintage smelling uh, stuff. I'll tell you what, it's it's good though. I like it. Now, if you must use a cartridge razor, the Atra is not a bad way to go. It's only got two blades, and. In my personal opinion, when it comes to cartridge razors and the amount of blades that are in the cartridge, less is more if you want to get a satisfying shave that's not irritating. This is a little on the aggressive side. I will, I will say that. If you start digging too much, it's going to bite. But if you're gentle with it, it'll give you a pretty satisfying shave. I will say that. For a cartridge razor, this one's good. Very good. You know something? Uh, it's kind of a sombering moment when you see a... Uh, wet shaving artisan going out of business because I think we kind of get lost in this hobby and we mistakenly think that a lot of these artisans will just always be there and they won't like uh, even superpowers like A&E and PAA are not likely to be here 20 years from now that's just the sad reality of it. Some of them might, but I think a vast majority of artisans are going to come and go. You know, the legacy soaps like Tabac, Cella, Prorazzo, uh, Truefit and Hill, stuff like that. Those are going to be around forever. They're going to withstand the test of time. But a lot of these artisans, uh, 
unless they pass the business down to their children, it's going to come to an end eventually, and it's sad to see it and hear about it when it does. It's like I shredded myself a little bit right there. This thing will bite. You got to... You gotta treat it with a little bit of respect. If you're looking for a cartridge razor that is Gillette sensor-like but a bit more aggressive, that's this. I got some pretty impressive residual slickness going on right now. Like, their recipe for me has always been good to go. I've always found that it was fairly impressive. I wouldn't say that their base ever blew me away, but it's always been pretty good stuff. Just doing some touch-ups. have a rinse and see how we did. Okay. I had some nicks right down there, but those might be content to just stop on their own here in a minute. <clears throat> Overall though, that looks like a pretty good shave. So let's move on to the aftershave. Okay, we're gonna film the alum block part of the shave. Normally I haven't been doing that lately, but we're gonna do it today. I have a Prorazzo alum block that cracked and came apart in the mail, but we're gonna use it anyway. So let's see how we did. Ooh wee. I had a bad day right here. Everywhere else was good to go. No feedback at all from the alum on today's shave except for right here. Everywhere else was just fine. Okay, time for some dark power aftershave splash. Let's put it on the face. Well, this stuff smells great. It feels great on the face. Nothing to complain about. Good to go. Whoa! Almost dropped my uh, one of my tripods on the on the floor. All right, let's put some Dracar Noir Eau de Toilette on. Cause why not? Who we? The '80s called. They want their fragrance back. <laughs> okay. All right now. This is going to be no more, so I wouldn't chase it down. It's not worth paying exorbitant prices for it. Sterling has a soap, Sterling Noir, so if you want a Dracar Noir scented soap, uh, that would be one place to go. There might be one or two uh, other ones out there. The only one I know of, though, is Sterling. So that's my recommendation. If you want a Dracar Noir scented soap in the absent of this, go to Sterling because they'll, they'll take care of you. All right, so that'll be the shave for today. I want to say farewell to Kevin and Kelly of K Shave Works and thank them for giving us good shaving products for so many years. I want to thank everybody for watching, and until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.